Morning, how are you? Happy Friday. Dealing with a lack of time. That's what we're going to chat about this morning on Win the Morning TV, episode 43. We're up to now. How are we getting on? How is your week on? Training wise, nutrition wise, energy wise. How are you feeling? Um, hopefully you're arriving at, at Friday energized, ready for the weekend. Maybe looking forward to the, the big match in Croker tomorrow. So we're going to talk about a lack of time. So when I'm chatting to lads about um, their health and fitness and maybe the obstacles or the reasons why that they're not currently doing any training or looking after nutrition, um, the one thing that keeps showing up over and over again is a lack of time. Not having enough time to get stuck into it, not having enough time over the last couple of years um, why, or to start um, into a strength training program, to start walking, running, jogging, to start getting a handle on your healthy eating. Um, and the only one that, that loses out in that case, and these are all valid excuses, um, but they're excuses, the only one losing out in this is yourself. Okay, so as a man, if you're saying that you're lacking time to look after your fitness, your health, your well-being, then I would suggest that it comes down to two things, a lack of organization and prioritization. And we'll jump into that a little bit more now, okay? So this might be a little bit confronting, um, but I want to give you three things that can help you with a lack of time. So if you're somebody listening to this, um, if you're listening live, let me know. Give me a shout in the comments there. How are you getting on? If you're watching back, hashtag replay. Okay, so three things that can help you with a lack of time. So if you have a lack of time to fit your training in, to fit your nutrition, to just start looking after yourself. If the lack of time is an excuse, here's three things. The first thing is planning. So if you don't have a plan for your day, if you don't have a plan for your week, then you can't use time as an excuse because you just end up getting caught up in distraction. You'll end up spending too much time on some jobs or tasks and then just time gets eaten up. Um, there's so many things out there to distract us that we'll end up scrolling on the phone. We'll, we'll end up um, maybe watching telly. We'll end up spending too much time at one task and not moving on to the, to the other. So we need to plan. Sunday evening is a great time to plan. Plan out your week. What like whether it's around work, family, include everything, and then you you can find the gaps there and planning, plan in your training times, three times a week, strength training, two times a week, aerobic fitness, getting out for a walk, cycle, jog, run, whatever it is, twice a week, and there you have a nice formula for starting to build strength, build fitness, and look after yourself, but you must be planned. On, on, on the daily, you must know what's coming next, so from the minute you get up, what are you doing when you get into work? What's your first task, second task? What are you doing before lunch? Uh, what are you doing after lunch? And then having a set finish time for work and sticking to that and then having your family time planned in and having your time for yourself also, okay? So planning is the first thing that you can start with. If you need more help on that, just give me a shout. Then the second thing to help you with a lack of time is to say no more often. Now that might sound a little bit strange, okay, and it might sound a little bit selfish, but you find yourself, if you keep saying yeah to everything, if somebody asks you to do something and you keep saying yes, obviously there's things that you want to say yes to and there's things that you don't want to say no to, but if you keep, say, appeasing everyone and just saying, yeah, I'll do that, I'll do this, I'll do that, then the only thing that happens is that you end up having no time for yourself. So think about it but when somebody asks you to do something, is it something that you really need to do? Is it something that's going to help you with your health and fitness? And if it's not, say no to it, okay? So obviously you have your priorities of things um, that you have to get done and priority people that you want to do things for. But if you keep saying yeah on top of your, your work, on top of your family time, on top of everything else, then you won't have any time for yourself. You'll be too busy doing everything for everyone and not leaving enough time for yourself, okay? So say no more, that's the second thing. And then the last thing, if you want to create more time for yourself, is getting up a little bit earlier in the morning. Okay, so whatever your rise time is in the morning, if it's seven, maybe try and get up at half six. Okay, if it's eight, get up at half seven and build it from there. Try and get up at least a half an hour earlier than what you normally would. And then once you nail that, you can stretch it out to an hour. Um, that might be the, the worst thing in the world for you when you're thinking about it. That might be, oh, geez, I can't do that. I'm already wrecked going to bed. But on the flip side of that, if you're getting up earlier, you must go to bed earlier. 
So what does that mean? That means maybe switching off the telly, the telly a little bit earlier in the evening time. Maybe stop scrolling through social media before you go to sleep. Stop getting distracted. Have a set time for going to sleep and try and get up that little bit earlier in the morning. Create a morning routine for yourself. What you do, what you'll do there is before everybody else is up in the house, before um, the wife, partner, whatever it is, is up earlier or up early, before the kids are up, you're there, you have your half an hour or your hour to yourself to get whatever you need done. That might be organizing your breakfast, it might be planning your day, it might be getting a training session in early, it might be getting out for a walk or a jog. But you can create a little bit more time, you can claw a little bit more time back by having a morning routine. Okay, so that's three things. So lads, if you're struggling with time, as I said, it's either a lack of organization or a lack of prioritization, okay? So prioritization meaning you're not prioritizing your own time, you're not prioritizing your health and well-being, okay? You're in control of your own health and well-being, um, you're in control of your own time, but it's how you organize it. If you're short on time, it's your fault, you're in control of it, you need to change it, okay? And that's, and that's the biggest thing I see from lads when they're chatting about the biggest obstacle for their health and fitness at the moment is not having enough time. I call bullshit on that. I've explained it. I've given you three things that you can work on um, to create a little bit more time. And it doesn't have to be hours. It's a half an hour to get your training done, to get your planning done, to start looking after your nutrition. Okay, we leave it there. Happy Friday. Let's have a strong weekend. Um, I hope you have a good one. I'll be back on this uh, next week as well. Okay, so win the morning, win the day. I hope you're up and at it. I hope you got something from that. Drop us a comment. Give us a like if you got something from the video. Cheers, lads.